Hi, this is Terry with Palomar College Academic Technology. Today we're doing a quick video to demonstrate the use of transitions in Windows Live Movie Maker. Transitions are the uh, video effects that occur between the uh, slides in your video or between different video clips. So um, it's easier to know how they work and what they are by showing you, so here we go. I've already loaded a number of uh, still photos. I've cropped them to 16-9 aspect ratio. And let's go ahead and set their duration for about three seconds each so that we can get through the slideshow fairly quickly. Okay, we've just applied three seconds to all of them. And now when I click uh, between um, slides, I can go to the animations tab and pull down the transitions uh, menu drop down. Let me pull it down all the way here. And you can see there are a large number of transitions. In fact, 72 different transitions that I can apply between uh, my videos, my, between each picture in the video. Uh, if I hover over them, I can see a in the preview pane, see a preview of what it's going to look like. They have a live preview feature. These are all called diagonals and they're categorized here. These are all dissolves. I'm not sure how all of this will come through in the YouTube video. A very popular is a fade to black. Okay, blur. And another set called patterns. Circle out, diamond out, checkerboard, and so on. Quite a number of those. Uh, shatters. These are some of the newer effects. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can have a lot of fun playing with these things. Here's the ever popular page curl. Okay, I like that. See the inverse video on the back of the page. And here's some swipes. Wipes, rather. Here's a couple of cinematic ones. This is very nice. It has the sort of lens flare effect, uh, which looks good. And then they call these contemporary for a reason I can't quite understand. You know, there's a little bit of action there with a, with a color between the slides. So those are all of the transitions. And transitions can be applied, as I say, to uh, each picture or each video clip in your movie individually or applied to all of them. Uh, let's say we want to go ahead and use this page curl effect and we want to apply it to all of our, our clips or all of our pictures in our video. And our duration on this same, uh, same animations tab is set for 1.5 seconds. Now recall that we set the length of the uh, video uh, clip for each picture in the, in the video to 3 seconds. So that's half of the time it takes. Let's go ahead and look at a preview and watch our page page curl effects occur. Okay, that's that's enough. We get the idea. Now you'll notice I didn't put one of those on slide number one and that's because Movie Maker treats slide number one differently. If I look at my, uh, if I put my insertion point before slide one, click the drop down on my animations, I only have five possibles. This is none. Uh, so uh, the reason for that is that it expects slide number one to be a title slide. If I went ahead and added a title on the Home tab, add a title, and then I click before the first actual picture in my, in my video, go to Animations, I have the full 72 that I can choose. Let's go ahead and put that page curl on this one too. Okay, I can change the duration for any or all of them. If I change the duration to be uh, longer than the uh, duration of the picture itself, I'll get an error message, obviously. Um, but it, it all works very simply and very well. Okay, And really that's all there is to say about uh, transitions. I, uh, other than you can, you can go a little crazy with transitions. Uh, it's better to stay conservative if possible and uh, better not to put too many different ones in your uh, shows. You know, Movie Maker was really made for uh,
putting your still pictures in and making a quick movie or slideshow out of them and show it to the family on the TV set. <laughs> that's that's basically what it is for, but you can use it for many other things too. I'm not sure transitions have a great use for academic purposes, except I found some interesting effects I'll show you in another presentation um, that you can apply to slides when you start using the pan and zoom and the visual effects too in, a, in addition to transitions. You can do some pretty effective uh, work in this program. For now though, that's uh, the long and the short of it about transitions. Thanks for watching.